So the one question people keep asking me, which is quite bizarre, and I've always been like, what? Is, is Jay Slater's disappearance at all linked to Madeleine McCann? Well, I can tell you now that there are some links to that a case that's just going to blow your fucking mind. Now, we're going to talk about the Pippa account, and I'm not going to show you the actual Pippa account because I'm not going to promote this account that is actually run by somebody who is not firing on all cylinders, let's say. Because if you remember back to the beginning of this investigation into finding Jay, that Pippa account has been the one source of information that has put out repetitive sick information about Jay. It's shown pictures of someone being severely beaten up and said, oh, that's Jay, a man covered in blood. It was quite easy to trace that that was actually a child offender from Russia who had been badly beaten on camera because of what he'd been caught doing. Now, the next day they showed a picture of a body bag carrying a body off like a mountainous area and said it was Jay. It turned out to be a body being removed from Iceland back in 2017. Um, and again, using someone's grief and tragedy to try and turn it into something against Jay Slater and his family. They've also shared Tom Hilton, who is the boy who was attacked in Lancashire, his post to his friend who died in a motorcycle accident, um, motocross. They shared that and kind of said, look, this person's killing more than just Jay. It's just weird. Um, they've shared pictures of a man in handcuffs and said, this is Jay Slater. Really sick stuff. Now, yesterday morning... That profile put out a voice note because they wanted us to know that they were not connected to um, Lucy or Jay's family at all. They were saying, I'm just trying to help. Now, quite quickly, I recognised that voice. Uh, I've had a lot of contact with that voice and I was mind blown by who would have done that. I'm going to play the voice note to you quickly. Uh, look, guys, a uh, quick thing to say. I never said that I'm the real one. I never said that I'm the real account, people. I'm just an account that is trying to help. I, I'm getting real bad hate for nothing. I'm trying to be nice. To now, let me, tell you, let me tell you whose voice that is. Julia Wendelt from Poland. That is her voice. The I am Madeline McCann account from last year that hit over a million followers on Instagram after she doctored photographs to put a collarboma into her eye and pretend that she was missing Madeline McCann. I was one of the people, one of the first people to out her online and tell the world that she wasn't in Madeline McCann and that she knew she wasn't Madeline McCann because Madeline McCann was the fifth child that she had pretended to be in an investigation. She'd also famously pretended to be Livia Shep, one of the twins missing from Switzerland. She also pretended to be Inga Garrick. These people, she would phone up the investigators of the case, the family members, and say, I think I am your loved one. I can't remember my childhood, da, 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 da. And she would integrate herself into an investigation. Now, with Madeleine McCann, that one just blew up. Obviously, the whole of the UK wants Madeleine McCann to be found so badly that everybody kind of had this false hope, and she played on it again and again and again. Even after a DNA test proved that she wasn't Madeleine, that she was actually pure Polish and came from her own parents, she continued, and even this year, turned up at the vigil for Madeleine McCann in her hometown of Rothley, and that meant the parents could then not attend the vigil. She walked in brazenly, sat in the parents' row in the front amongst a whole community of people who just didn't know what to do and felt quite scared of what was going on and then presented to a police station and demand they take her DNA, even though she'd known for over a year. And this picture here is off a BBC radio interview she did where she apologised for pretending to be Madeline, but has continued to do so since. Yesterday morning, when I announced to my live that actually the Pippa voice and the Pippa account came from this woman, who has again and again used social media in order to hurt missing people's families, she came into the room, had a bit of an argument with me in the chat, then left the room and instantly Pippa uploaded a new story saying, I am not Julia, um, which just kind of tells you exactly that we just caught the perpetrator of this account. Now, if anyone involved in the Jay Slater investigation or Jay's parents want all of the proof, I will quite happily hand it over because it's about time that this girl was held to account and somehow faced the British justice system for the amount of damage that she has done. Now, it was only last year, if you typed in Madeleine McCann on Google, it was this girl's face that came up. Madeline was eradicated from Google and that broke my heart. And we fought tirelessly to get Madeline back into the space where she belonged amongst her family's pictures on Google so that people didn't think she'd been found and stopped looking for her. Julia, to you, it's time to stop this. This is absolute madness. Getting attention by 
infiltrating these cases and becoming part of something that are not even anything to do with you and causing hurt, distress, alarm. Those pictures you shared were so disgusting and at some stage Jay's family would have seen them. I know for a fact that people sent them on to the, his family, not me personally, I never would do that and I knew you were talking shit from day one. But this is so harmful and you have to start asking what kind of help you need when your actual jealousy is is aimed towards people who are missing and high profile cases as if that's something you want yourself. It's absolutely crazy. Like you should be feeling nothing for this family apart from sympathy and wanting to help. But all you've done is hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt people. I just can't understand the demographic of the people that you're hurt, you're choosing to destroy are people who are already hurting, already grieving and already missing their loved one. It's time to stop. So the drama that was coming out of the Jay Slater um, investigation case thing yesterday um, was a bit embarrassing, to be honest. So TikTok, TikTok star quits search for the 19-year-old and says he's never had any money from GoFundMe. Callum Farnham, who flew to Tenerife after contacting the 19-year-old's mother online, has told Sky News he has withdrawn after two weeks of looking. And this will kind of come about because Derry released um, a statement on the GoFundMe that said that she'd been she'd helped Paul Arnott with some stuff and also Callum Farnham with essential she said and he's hit back and said she hasn't helped me with anything but then later backtracked when debbie released a picture a screenshot of 700 and something pound um that she paid to callum for his hotel um flights so is that not enough why is he expecting a cut of the guy from me you know, I think now it's becoming like people want fame out of this, people want money, people want to make as much money as they can. Um, TikTokers are flying out there and I don't think they're flying out there to help in any way. They're there to help themselves, they're there to boost their own image, of course they're there to do that. For instance, you're this TikToker in that Callum shoes and you've gone over there and she's paid <clears throat> she's paid your flights and your accommodation now any lives that you do any videos that you make you're going to be earning money off them so you haven't had to pay your flights you haven't had to pay your accommodation so you would have to eat anyway regardless of whether you were there were looking for jay or not looking for jay so the money that you're making off the videos and the live streams because it is a lot that they're making off the live streams. A portion of that could go towards buying your food or other stuff you needed because you would have to buy that stuff regardless whether you're there looking for Joe. But she's paid your hotel and your flights. I just think it's being a bit too, you know, people like this when money's involved. Um, they get very greedy, they get very selfish. And things like what happened just to happen, people then start arguing and they fall out and and then that's the end of that relationship. Right, so I'll keep you updated what happens next with this crazy story.